well as retail, the organising, distribution and food manufacturing. I'm here today speaking to you on behalf of the workers in Tesco's, Asa, CNC Supermarkets, Poundland, Greenmark and many more. I'm also speaking to you on behalf of workers in distribution centres delivering to these supermarkets and on behalf of the workers who produce the food that is on every table and every, every household table across Northern Ireland. Comrades, on behalf of those workers I say we deserve a pay raise. Our members work hard, day in, day out, evenings, weekends and bank holidays. We deserve a decent wage. Over the last five years we have seen living standards fall. In our sectors, we have been able to deliver pay raises, but those pay raises have not kept up inflation. And the prices of many day-to-day -day goods have risen by more than inflation. Fuel prices keep rising, the cost of housing goes up, and food prices continue to rise. Since 2010, if you took into consideration inflation, the real value of a food ten wage has fallen by £2,000. That is a pay raise we need just to bring wages back to the level that we're at four years ago. Comrades, many of the workers I represent struggle to meet the most basic day-to-day -day living costs. Even in the supermarkets that our members work in are supplying food banks, that's food banks in 2014. Hundreds of thousands of workers across Northern Ireland face a real cost of living crisis. We, the trade union movement, need to tackle this crisis and we need to campaign measures to support workers through the cost of living crisis. We need energy prices to be frozen and we need affordable housing for all. We need a tax and benefit system that supports and protects low pay of workers. And we need a substantial increase into the national minimum wage. And we need to ban zero hour contracts and get equal pay for our agency workers. Too many workers have to rely on in work benefits just to have a basic income to survive on. The time has come for all workers to be paid a living wage. A wage that will support the day-to-day -day needs of the workers and their families. And we, the trade union movement, need to unite, unite the workers across the public sector and the private sectors. We recognise the challenges faced by many workers in the public sector. Because we in the private sector face similar, if different challenges. But we all face one challenge in common, and that is the cost of living crisis. Comrade, enough is enough. Today we send a simple message to Cameron, to our politicians on the hill, and to the mass employers who have deliberately created a recession in order to install fear, fear into the working people. Enough of empty promises, enough of wondering how we're going to be able to provide a decent and stable home for our children and their children to come. We must have a pay raise for all. Thank you.